I share this because I think about the early missionaries who were able to, to develop their faith in response to God's call to serve Him wherever He called them. And so they were able to go out into the far reaches of the coastal territory. We're grateful for your grandparents, your great grandparents, who answered God's call to serve their God. Yeah, that's right there. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. amazing yeah. The missionaries came and they brought the word. And from that word and from that seed, it was planted throughout the Dakota Territory. These were people who came out and shared the hardships of their life with the Indians, brought with them many of the blessings of civilization like turnips and garden crops. And uh, the Indians all profited materially even if they didn't all appreciate it spiritually. The Dakota culture had, at this location, uh, not had uh, much influence by the, the white man as yet. When uh, Thomas Williamson arrived here, the uh, Dakota people were hunters and gatherers, and they did a little farming, but uh, on a very small scale. When he first got here, he knew nothing of their language, he didn't speak Dakota to start with, and it took years to pick that up. Same for Riggs. They, they later said that if they realized how badly they were ruining the language when they preached, they uh, might have been discouraged. The final uh, goal of Dr. Williamson's life was to complete the Bible and translate in, into Dakota. And uh, with the help of uh, Reverend Riggs and his son, uh, Reverend John P. Williamson, they completed the entire Dakota Bible uh, within a couple months of uh, Thomas Williamson's death. The Christians were ostracized by their own traditional tribal people. You embrace a white man's religion. God is not a white man. He's a spirit. In fact, our word for God is great spirit. They believe that uh, they want to be traditional. They want to be Indian. And Indian, there's no part of Christianity. I come to realize that, that we could do it both ways. And that's my challenge right now. That's my job is to, to bring the two together. My grandfather was commissioned to take the gospel to the Willalas and they left in a wagon. One of them said, my brother and sister, be of good courage. God be with you. And they left. And that was the beginning of my grandfather's ministry that lasted 40 years. In 1835, Presbyterian missionaries established the first mission in the Dakota territories of western Minnesota. Today, Presbyterian and other reservation churches are still involved in the spiritual and social aspects of Indian Reservation Society. This documentary, A Faith Journey of a People, Dakota and Christianity, will explore the challenges, goals, and growth of their Christian heritage. Faith, belief, as long as you have those, God will be with you. Wakanta, you walk with him, he'll walk with you.